Hello YouTube, welcome to Curious Me channel. This is Shabazz Khan and in this video we will have an overview on MVC. Now people with .NET background may already know what is MVC so you may skip this video or you may watch this video and point out my mistakes in the comment section down below. And the rest, let's talk about MVC. What is MVC? MVC is nothing but a pattern which divides an application into three main groups of components. First one is model, second is view, third is controller. And yes, initials of each of these words that I just uttered makes up MVC. Now let's, lay, let's take a look at this simple diagram to understand how MVC works. Now it's as you can see in this diagram, when the request comes to our application, it is routed to a controller. Now controller chooses a model to perform the action that is requested. And then the controller chooses the view and passes that model to the view to generate a UI to send it to the requesting application or the user. Well, uh, this MVC pattern, it forces the developer to divide his application into fundamental block. Like if we are making a blog website or a simple blog, then before starting our work, we need to come up with the fundamental components that will combine to make up our blog. Like users, blogs, categories and so on authors there are many more examples okay now when we proceed to code each of these components in mvc pattern we automatically achieve what is known as the crown jewel of mvc which is separation of concerns which means our code is divided and subdivided such that each part will handle a separate concern now let's look at a very detailed example this is the same format here you can see the model here you can see the controller here you can see the view now just like i said before we divide and subdivide our application into fundamental components suppose we are making a blog then users blogs authors categories we can have controllers for controllers models and views for each of our fundamental components and Doing things this way reduces the complexity of our code and makes our code easier to debug and test. Okay. Now, as you can see, this entire application is divided into three parts, controllers, models, and views. So first separation, first separation of concern we have achieved by separating our controllers, our business logic, and our UI in three different layers. Now, we further subdivide our application by creating fundamental blocks for our application like users, blogs, authors, and so on. Now, this specific user is only responsible for all the requests that are coming for user. This blog is only responsible for all the requests that are coming to fetch the blogs. And similarly, the model and the views, they are all separated. Now, this gives us a tremendous boost in unit testing, in, de in debugging. So, this is how it happens. Let's explore this further. Suppose this is the request that is coming, www.curiousme.in slash blog. And I'm requesting the block with an ID equals to 1. What will happen is our application will route this request to the blogs controller. Now, if an error occurs here, you will straight away know that there is some mistake in your blogs controller itself. And then the block controller fetches the model. Okay. And it goes straight away to the blog models blog. Okay. And it also gets the data, performs all the business logic. The controller finds the view, gives it the data along with the model and of course we'll use the view associated with blog itself now this blog will combine this blog view will combine the model the data to render an html and that html is given back to the user this is the flow this is a very simple very simplified flow of an mvc application let's see this flow in code let me open visual studio as you all know we are running this tutorial from an MVC template itself that we made in the very first uh, video. So uh, if you want, you can check that out and the link is in the description and here also. Okay, so what we did in that video is we 
did dot net new mvc and the name of our application my core application or whatever so this gave us this template okay now as you can see this template straight away gives you the views the models and the controllers simple so here is here you have your controllers here you have your models here you have your views okay now when you run this application let us run this application dot net run okay now when we run this application and we open localhost 5001 oh yeah we did some changes for middleware and i have not even did anything back sorry about that let me save this so th that was from our previous example and i forgot to remove that code okay now let's go ahead and refresh this again and you can see you are here now when i click at home nothing happens because this is the home page itself let me go to privacy now when i click on privacy here it, you can see that there is a navigation that is taking place okay now this request is going to our home controller and then we are getting this view let's go and check out the home controller here you can see there is a home controller now if 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 you remember from our previous diagram here you can have user controller block controller whatever controller you want here you can have your models accordingly user models block models and here similarly you can have your views now let's open the controller so here the request comes to this controller and it is handled it goes to private uh, privacy action and then we get the view that is related to privacy so let me see this view we get okay now we will discuss this in in detail in the next video yeah so let's end this video here itself uh, because just this is just an overview of mvc uh, and i just want this video to be very short now just for revision what we did here is uh, we discussed what is mvc and what is the benefits of mvc the benefit is it reduces the complexity it divides our code into very fundamental blocks it is very debugger friendly it is very testable the code that we produce is very testable so with this let's end this video here in the next video we will explore this template further not only this template like we will have a deep dive into each of these components and the services okay and from there we will pick up and keep exploring all of the comp all of the dot net cores capabilities using mvc itself so yeah that's it uh, that's the end of this video if you have any questions please leave those questions in the comments down below i'll make sure i'll re i'll make sure that i reply and yeah if you like this video then give it a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel and yeah have a great day ahead bye bye